Whole apples are an incredibly healthy food. But did you know that apple juice also has its own benefits? It helps hydrate the body, contains beneficial plant compounds like pectin, which helps reduce bad cholesterol LDL and increase good cholesterol HDL, and antioxidant polyphenols, which reduce inflammation and can support heart health while protecting your brain as you age. Apple juice is in high demand, with over 800 million liters produced worldwide each year. Specialized machinery must harvest over 100,000 tons of apples from local farms. But how can this massive quantity of apples be efficiently transformed into juice while ensuring quality? Let's explore the production process of apple juice from harvest to final product in large-scale production facilities. Apple Harvesting the apple juice production process begins with the apple harvest season, usually occurring in October when the apples reach optimal ripeness, filled with flavor and nutrients. At this time, 90% of the annual apple juice production takes place. Throughout the harvest season, from September to late November, various harvesting methods are employed to collect the apples. Tree shaking machines are the primary equipment used for large scale apple harvesting. The machine's hydraulic arm grips the tree trunk firmly, shaking it vigorously for a few seconds, causing the apples to fall to the ground. Each shake can yield up to 60 kilograms of apples. Meanwhile, most fresh eating apples are still hand picked to ensure they remain undamaged. This is just one of the orchards supplying apples to the processing plant with a total yield of up to 100,000 tons per year. From the moment the apples hit the ground to their collection, takes no more than 24 hours, helping preserve the freshness and flavor of each apple as it arrives at the processing facility. Once the apples are harvested from the orchards, they are quickly transported to the processing plant by large trucks. During peak season, up to four truckloads of apples can arrive at the plant each hour, ensuring a steady supply for production. It is essential that the apples remain fresh in optimal condition upon arrival to maximize juice quality. The process begins when apples are loaded onto a conveyor belt, where they pass through an initial inspection area. Here, recycled water flows over the apples as they move through for water channels with a counter current that lifts leaves and other unwanted debris onto the conveyor for removal. This initial quality check is crucial to remove any damaged or substandard apples. Only the freshest, highest quality apples are retained to continue through the process, ensuring that the final juice product will be of the highest standard. The apples are transferred to the washing station for thorough cleaning. Here, they roll through a system of brushes and rollers sprayed with water, which removes visible dirt and debris. This is a crucial step to ensure hygiene in the production process. After washing, the apples undergo a disinfection process to eliminate harmful microorganisms like bacteria and mold. This process ensures that the apples are completely clean and safe before moving on to the juicing stage. The apples are fed into a large crusher with sharp blades. The fast spinning blades cut the apples into small pieces, making juicing easier. A natural enzyme, pectinase, is added to break down the cellular structure, releasing more juice. Next, the crushed apples are transferred to a powerful hydraulic press to extract the juice. Here, filters capture the peel, seeds, and apple stems, allowing only pure juice to flow through. The extracted juice is initially cloudy due to suspended particles. The freshly pressed apple juice undergoes filtration to remove small particles, resulting in a clearer, purer juice. Juice samples are also rigorously tested for quality, ensuring the juice meets standards for flavor, acidity, and sweetness. If necessary, a small amount of acid is added to preserve the juice's natural color and flavor, and the balance of sugar and acidity is adjusted for an ideal taste. 
The juice is then chilled and stored in cold tanks to inhibit microbial growth. After filtration and chilling, the apple juice is transferred to the pasteurization system. In this process, the juice is heated to a specific temperature for a short time to kill any harmful microorganisms. The juice is then quickly cooled to preserve its flavor and quality. Pasteurization not only extends the shelf life of the juice, but also ensures food safety for the final product. After pasteurization, the apple juice is homogenized to ensure consistencies so that every bottle of juice has the same flavor and quality. The juice is then poured into bottles with precise measurements. Technicians check to ensure that the bottling process is accurate and that there is no contamination or product loss. After bottling, the apple juice bottles move to the labeling area. Here, labels are automatically attached to each bottle, providing essential information such as ingredients, production date, expiration date, and nutritional information. Once labeled, the bottles are packed into boxes and prepared for distribution. Once bottled and packaged, the apple juice is distributed to stores, supermarkets, and retail outlets where consumers can purchase and enjoy it. The entire production process, from harvest to consumer, is carried out with great care and strict controls to ensure the highest quality product. In addition to the benefits of apple juice that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if we consume too much apple juice, it can have harmful effects on our health may contribute to weight gain, low in vitamins and minerals, high in sugar and low in fiber, encourages tooth decay, contaminated with pesticides. If you really like it, be sure to enjoy it in moderation. Thank you for watching.